Today, we will talk about full ratchet anti-dilution. A full ratchet is an anti-dilution provision that is designed to protect the interests of early investors. It ensures that the lowest sale price is used as the adjusted option price or conversion ratio for existing shareholders when new shares of common stock are issued by a company after the issuing of an option or convertible security. The purpose of a full ratchet is to protect early-stage investors by preventing their percentage ownership from being diminished by future rounds of fundraising. It also offers cost protection if the pricing of future rounds is lower than the initial round. However, offering these protections can be expensive and can make it difficult for the company to attract new rounds of investment. To illustrate a full ratchet provision, let's consider a scenario where a company sells 1 million convertible preferred shares at a price of $1 per share with a full ratchet provision. Then, in a second fundraising round, the company sells 1 million common shares at a price of 50 cents per share. Due to the full ratchet provision, the conversion price of the preferred shares is reduced to 50 cents, requiring the company to issue new shares to the preferred shareholders to maintain their ownership. An alternative to the full ratchet provision is the weighted average approach, which is considered fairer in balancing the interests of founders, early investors, and later investors. This approach comes in two varieties, the narrow-based weighted average and the broad-based weighted average. Here are three key takeaways. 1. A full ratchet is an anti-dilution provision that protects early investors by using the lowest sale price as the adjusted option price or conversion ratio for existing shareholders. 2. Full ratchet provisions can be costly for founders and can undermine efforts to raise capital in future rounds of fundraising. 3. Weighted average approaches are a popular alternative to the full ratchet provision. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.